Space Jam. All right. Wave your hands in the air if you feel fine. Ooh. We got this whole club going down. Wake up to the Space Jam. Oh. Come friend, get your friends on the Space Jam. All right. This club is very, woo. Please stay. Okay, my wardrobe door's already getting overwhelmed. Hey friends, it's entirely too hot today for me to be wearing this cardigan. But here we are. This has been so highly requested since I joined YouTube, um, which is my whole entire Lazy Earth collection. And I don't even know how long this is going to take me to film. So if I'm in different outfits and it's filmed on different days, that's just the way it's going to have to be because I'm chronically ill. So I can't, I can only do what I can do. This wardrobe has a lot of Lazy Earth in it. Ta-da! This normally is all Lazy Earth. But at the moment, we've got this little section here, which is stuff I'm taking to Florida, which is a lot of black milk Disney stuff mainly, but some other bits as well. Um, so I've had to move some of the lazier stuff around to make room for that because I want it to be hung. But all of this to here is lazy oaf. And this is just wardrobe number one. So this is gonna be a long video, buckle in. I'm not gonna be going into major detail with like every iron because we'll be here for days. <laughs> But I will like talk about some of my old faves or if there's like a funny story behind one of them or something. Yeah. First item. What am I going to do with the stuff? I'm going to have to put it all back. Oh, it's going to be so long. This needs an iron. I haven't worn it in a while. Can you tell? <laughs> and I need to iron it. Uh, it's very thin. It has this sheer love heart on the back and little love hearts on the collar. And yeah, it's just a long little shirt. Maybe I'll hang them here for now. This is one of my all time favourite items from Lazy Oaf and it's been worn to death. Actually, I'd say this is probably the Lazy Oaf item I have that's in the worst condition. You won't see anything worse than this in my collection. Most of my stuff is like kept to a very high standard, um, but this I just honestly have worn to death. And the summer that I bought it, I wore it so much, so that's why it's a bit um, groy. <laughs> But it's got like people that look like jelly babies all over it, uh, doing different things. And yeah, I love this. And I actually bought it to Disneyland Paris the first time I ever went there. So I love this shirt. I think my boyfriend bought me it for a birthday present. A lovely fruity shirt. You know, these used to be my favorite Lazy Oaf item was these like oversized, long, thin, soft shirts because I used to wear them done up as dresses. And then I also, wear them undone instead of cardigans when you just want like a bit of coverage this has just got fruit all over it um and now they don't seem to make them and when they do i don't like the prints that they are this item was one of my first purchases i think from lazy oaf and again is probably equal to that other shirt in that it's the worst quality and it's this like pastel brick shirt and i've been obsessed with this ever since the day i got it and now i don't wear it as much because i don't want it to like totally fall apart because again when i first bought it i had less money and less ability to buy um loads of lazy oaf so i wore this to death but now because i've got such a huge collection a lot of my newer stuff doesn't get worn half as much as this baby did um so yeah another fave because i just think this is the type of shit that made me fall in love with Lazy Oaf and I feel like they're heading away from that and that makes me really sad. It's got um, dogs all over it and they're just like smoking and drinking and having a great time and I love the colours and the graphic and just everything about this shirt. Um, and I wish they made more stuff like that these days. Obsessed with this, I got this at a sample sale. It's a denim shirt that has little bodybuilders all over it and i just think that's absolutely hilarious and i love it <laughs> it's also really really soft i'm gonna sample sale because it's so small to medium but it's massive like it's really really soft it's almost like brushed cotton it's got love heart pockets and it's in black texture and i love this in autumn I, I love these long shirts. Why don't they make them like this anymore? 
and when they made a cloud print one I was so excited and I bought it and it felt so cheap and plasticky like a plastic bag that I hated it I want this material back lazy I have this quality this soft light airy beautiful with these cool funky prints of course I would love this pink covered in love hearts very me Okay, my wardrobe door's already getting overwhelmed. <laughs> One of my faves and my most sought after tops. Uh, these bears have little boobies and little willies and I love it. <laughs> I love the pastelness of it. I just love it. Grumpy cat. Of course, when I became a cat mum and got two cats, I had to get everything that had cats on it. <laughs> and this has got a little grumpy cat face on it and um, a little frill. And I don't wear this as much as I should. In fact, I want to wear this more. Another item that I absolutely pined after because I just think it's absolutely adorable and so cute. I love like anything sailory, sailor style with this little neck and I love that this is fuzzy and like 3D game over top with big uh, sleeves and it's nice and long and yes, pastel realness. <laughs> this this is one of my most worn t-shirts um it says not right now and it's pink and white striped with the blue and obviously just because of the colors it goes with a lot of my wardrobe so yes this bad boy gets a lot of wear the problem is though is that i wear like stuff loads and then i realize like you need to stop wearing that because <laughs> otherwise it's gonna like fall apart and get ruined and then i don't wear it for ages so i haven't worn that in ages and i love it and then this is the same, I love this, a little frog, I think a frogs are good luck for my home, I have lots of like reasons for loving frogs and there's a little froggy and I just love the pastel colours and stripes and yes this one also gets a lot of wear. I'm going to have to count my items at the end of this video because I genuinely don't know how many I own in like total, I really don't, that's going to be crazy. Our first Disney collab. This is the Cruella de Vil top and I love the little ruffly sleeves and I did wear this in Disneyland Paris in 2017 when I went and yes, I love this. One of my very few black items and such lovely quality, like thick and soft. Another item that's been worn to death, again I'd say this is the same quality as those two shirts but it's like, I don't know, it's like running men but like they've got no faces. I just love the colours and the graphicness of this and the cartoony vibes and I wish Lazy Earth did more stuff like this again. Right, these are my last few t-shirts and I just realised I'm definitely going to have to do like a <laughs> end section that's like stuff that was in the wash when I was filming. Um, this is one of my newest, actually might be my newest t-shirt um, and it's the Esther collab one which actually I really really love because I've been wanting a Lazy Earth white t-shirt that was this style of like oversized t-shirt because the Casper one I have is actually quite cropped. Um, so yeah, I really, really love that. This is one of my favourite um, t-shirts. I really, really love it. It's the one that has the love hearts and the little frill on it and um, it gets a lot of wear. This item is probably in my top five favourite of all time. Uh, it's definitely my favourite Lazy Oaf t-shirt. Um, it's this one that is the like dogs of Lazy Oaf and it's lilac and... This is an item that I try not to wear very much just because I want it to last forever. Um, but I definitely do wear it a lot and it's really held up well with washing and stuff. This is actually a 90. Uh, it was actually meant for sleepwear, but I bought it and used it as a t-shirt to wear like everything else. Um, it's got hearts, it's like silky, and it says dream on and there's little roughly sleeves. It is so soft, so I really enjoy wearing that one. This one, I got a sample set out and it's like, um, it's like a sleeveless t-shirt. It's got like a little frill on it and it's like another one of my favorite tees and again it's because it's old and it reminds me of old lazy if it says give in and there's like a candy bar with 
a cartoon face and I love the mint colour and the sleeves and everything so yes. Next we have this lonely little item because it's kind of a t-shirt dress type situation and it's from the Esther Calabas again it's the black and pink one I really love this I think it's really really cool and again it reminds me of their older stuff <laughs> most of their new stuff that I have I literally bought because it reminds me of their old stuff. Um, but now we're on to t-shirt dresses or as Lazy Ove calls them Sally Sack dresses which are probably my favourite style of Lazy Oaf item and I wish they did more. Um, this first one I didn't think was going to be for me but I absolutely love it and I wear it loads. It says bad for you around the collar and the sleeves and it's actually very bright pink um, and it's just a t-shirt dress. <laughs> This is one of my faves, um, I absolutely love this, the teddy bear, the frills, the pink and lilac stripes, just girly brilliantness, love this item. I actually wear more than I ever imagined I would, I really really love it um, and I think that's because this is the first one I had that had gone up to an XL when they first started doing XL um, so it just fits a little bit better because actually until very recently, and even really still, Lazy Oaf isn't really meant for people my size, but um, I've always fit in it, so yeah. And I actually started my collection before I was this size, like I started my collection when I was a size eight, so um, a lot of my stuff is from then, but it still fits, it's crazy. Their sizing is very strange, but this is bright pink. This is a birthday present from my brother got a frilly heart on it and I love that it's got the frills like the layers down the skirt this is one of my favorites and it does get a lot of wear it's the rainbow dress with the little heart um I absolutely do all this adore it adore it adore it love everything about it I should wear that with this shouldn't I really matching I'm obsessed with this dress <laughs> it's the daisy one it's like fluffy um, the bright green always like gets lots of compliments because you don't see a lot of people wearing this colour out and about. Oh my god, this with this. Oh, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. This gets a lot of wear. Um, it's the lunchtime pink pastel gingham t-shirt dress, Sally Sack dress. Um, yeah, one of my all-time favourites. We're on to like long sleeve tops. This is one of my favourite things to wear around the house when I'm not well because it's so soft and it's so long and baggy and oversized and I just adore it. And it's got the happy face and it's the same rainbow as the dress uh, but it came out after the dress and I just adore it and I'm really glad I bought it. For the random couple of Lazy Hoof uh, Esther items that have snuck in, we've got this uh, jumper that's the pink on the back and purple on the front and actually I've worn that loads and... I keep looking at it and getting sad that it's too hot to wear it because I, I hate summer clothes. I love winter clothes. <laughs> this was always going to be a must have for me because I really like little cardigans over dresses. And I love that on the back and the fur is super soft and it's got it on the sleeves as well which gives me clueless vibes. And uh, yeah, this is another Esther item. This top I rate highly and if you're looking at it to buy it second hand, like not from me because I'm not selling it because I love it so much. Um, <laughs> and you're not sure about the quality or whatever, it is so lovely to wear, it's so soft and like stretchy and comfortable and I just really really love it and obviously being black and white it goes with loads of stuff so I adore that, I love wearing it with bubblegum pink. And then when the Esther collab came out and they bought out this version, I had to get it uh, because I'm so obsessed with the other one. This has got abnormally long sleeves, which I don't actually mind because it feels like comfy cosy, but um, it's just a bit weird. Another Esther item and another item that's inside out, but it doesn't really matter. It's the uh, black sheer top with the bunnies all over it. And yeah, I love wearing that. Actually, I should wear these more in summer. This shirt was part of their Bukimi, Bukimi I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, range and this came out and got me very excited because it reminded me of old Lazy Oaf, like the print and the colours and it's a really really long shirt and I love that, I love wearing that even in this heat, like if I want to be cut a bit more covered up, um, wearing that over the top of dresses or t-shirts with skirts, um, it's just a great cover up and I love that it's got naked ladies on it.
This item got a lot of wear when I first bought it. It's the first Hello Kitty item you're seeing. It was Hello Kitty Lazy F Club. I loved it. It's like waffle um, and long and soft and just so comfortable and I wore it so much when I first bought that. This is a one-off piece from um, the sample sales and I have a few pieces that are one-offs. Um, and it's, it's the Casper dress, but it's very different to the one that was released. Um, and these are kind of like, I don't know, it's just very odd, um, but I absolutely love it. Um, it's clear, sheer, and under control. <laughs> We're on to dresses now. madness I got this at sample sale and you'll see that it um, still has its tags which is just crazy um, it's the introvert dress and I've just been I haven't worn it because and it's look it's so nice like a sailor dress again I love that um, I haven't worn it just because it's very very tight across my boobs and I haven't wanted to I've been too scared that I'll like stretch it out and ruin it um, but I know that's like weird because I should just wear it but like yeah, <laughs> it hasn't got enough wear. This jumper and this was part of the fun project too. And I love this because it was the first item my boyfriend ran and grabbed in a sample sale ever. Before that, he just kind of stood there for me and held stuff. But the second time we went, I think I asked him to go and grab stuff that he thought had, I'd like. And he grabbed this and I absolutely loved it. And I just love that he knew that I would love this because it's very strange and colourful and I love it. <laughs> This is one of my all-time faves, uh, Fat Joe's Pizza Dough uh, jumper. I just love it. It's like 80s vibes. I just love it so much. I actually didn't get this when it first came out and I really, really wanted it and I didn't. I couldn't afford it. But when it came back out for their anniversary, I think they released items that people had voted for, I got it then and I just adore it. <laughs> my mum and dad got me this once I'd got the cats because, of course... I am a weird cat lady and it looks like Figgy, it looks like my little cat Figaro, he's a little tabby and oh I love it so much and just the pale blue is perfect for me, I love these style jumpers, I wish they'd bring new ones out that were like in the bigger sizes. This was from a sample sale and I'm not sure if it's a one-off or not, I don't remember it being released but maybe it did, like a version of it got released but not. it wasn't exactly like this but I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's this jumper and I don't know why but it always makes me think of Christmas and like I guess yeah I'd like gingerbread man vibes um, but it's got like teddies and love hearts and oh it's just so cute I love wearing that at Christmas time <laughs> The Looney Tunes item and again I got this as a gift I think my parents got me it Bugs Bunny and they actually surprised me with it I, uh, for Christmas I didn't ask for it um, it's like got a cut off bottom which I absolutely love um, and I just love I love that on the front so much this jumper I actually found second hand on eBay and the reason I had to have it is because it has Disney's Figaro on it and that's what we named our cat after. He's called Figaro after Figaro the cat from Pinocchio. Um, and it's actually a collab with a Little Sunny Bite, but it's got Figaro the cat on it and it's also floral. And it's so cute because we named Figaro Figaro and I got this jumper, but then when we got our second cat, Cleo, she actually looks exactly like this. So it kind of reminds us of both. And then on the back it says, Cherish My Love. And I just adore it and I'll keep that forever. And it actually on the sleeve says Disney's Pinocchio, which I love. Um, yeah, I love that. I, it was definitely worth it. I got a very good deal on that as well. I was obsessed with this item when it came out. <laughs> Absolutely obsessed. It's the Kitty jumper. Um, and I, I, at the time I bought this. I think I bought this and maybe the pink love heart shirt and it bankrupted me. I didn't have that money to spend, but I was so obsessed with this jumper that I had to have it. <laughs>
Liberty, which I actually wear as a dress. Oh, the jumpers come off because I was just, it's too hot here. <laughs> um, and we're only on the last few items in this wardrobe. So next we have a favourite of all Lazio fans, I think, uh, the Bunny Rees. These are the purple ones, which I actually think I prefer to the white ones, just because I'd be too scared to get the white ones dirty because I'm very clumsy. Um, but also to the pink ones, because I didn't like the shade of pink at all. It was, they've just bought them out, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, in pink. And it was like a salmon-y pink, and it wasn't for me. I wish it was kind of like that pink. I would have loved. And then we have the Esther pink boiler suit um, with the little bunny face on the back. This is a full boiler suit um, that makes me feel very sassy when I wear it. And then on this hanger, oh, <laughs> we have the jacket and the matching jeans. Um, and I wore this together and put a photo on Instagram and someone said it was an intense outfit. Someone I know in real life was like, that is an intense outfit. And I was like, that's how I want all my outfits to be described. I absolutely love this jacket. I think it's so perfect for spring. Um, I love lilac and I love the bunnies on the pockets. So cute. That's it for this uh, wardrobe. We're going to have to move into my other room or the hallway or my other way. Or... <laughs> We've got lazy over everywhere around this house, okay? So let's cut to the next wardrobe. Hey. <laughs> It's a different day. I knew I'd have to film it on separate days. I think I'm gonna have to be quick because I don't know how much battery my camera's got. Sorry, bad, bad YouTuber. Right, let's open this baby up. This is the wardrobe that's in my bedroom, my actual bedroom where I sleep. Ta-da! And it is hoodies, jumper dresses, cardigans. We've got a couple of coats in there. And we've got only, I think, three items that aren't lazy open this. Right. Where to start? Let's start down this end. This baby, I got one of my first sample sets, and it came like this, so I was very excited, but I literally think I got it for like 15 quid, and it's a jumper dress, and I adore it. I bought it just in one of the sales, because I've been eyeing it up for a very long time. It's a jumper dress, but with a hood, and I love the eyes, old school lady vibes, and I also just love the deep red, and um, I'm stealing myself in red when I bought that. This uh, was from the bikini, bikini launch, um, and I just love that she's naked, and it says not working, and that is just, because it's there, but very thin, I do like that it's got some detail down the arms there. This is one of my favourites, um, and again, I got it at a sample sale, it's like 1999 jumper dress um with the fuzzy bear and this was one size but even now like i got this when i was a lot thinner and even now this still fits and is lovely and baggy and long and i think is better is a better fit than their newer stuff and my last jumper dress is this baby it's the mickey mouse one from the disney collection and i don't wear this enough just purely because it's so black, um, but I did wear it in Disneyland Paris and I did get compliments on it there and had lots of fun wearing it there. This is also one of my favorites, but it's not hung up because I'm bad. <laughs> and it says kittens and puppy dogs and it's just white jumper dress uh, with little spots on it. And I actually wear that loads. This is a Hello Kitty item. And I wanted this for so long and I waited and it sold out and I was gutted. So I went into the sample sale that time aiming to get this and I got it in a medium and it does fit, but I wish I'd had it in a bigger size. It says Hello Kitty down the arm. And this, and I actually wear this loads. This is like one of my more worn items, which is weird because it's pure white and I'm the clumsiest person in the world. Love, love, love this. When I bought this, I think I wore it every day for like a month. <laughs> I didn't really, but you know what I mean? I absolutely was obs obsessed with it. I love the shade of pink it is. And I've always loved Betty Boop. Look at her. She's such a bad bish. Fabulous. Um, nothing on the back of this one. Uh, it says Betty Boop down the arm. And it's just a long hoodie. The fit of that's quite weird. Was that men's? I feel like maybe that was a men's hoodie. This is one of my all-time favourite items. It's the Cinderella Disney hoodie. I think I'm in amongst the masses who wish they'd do another Disney collab because I basically nearly bought it all. Um, but I absolutely love this. And again, I wore it in Disneyland Paris and loved it by the castle. Another one of my all-time faves the Cinderella jumper dress. I just think it's so whimsical and pretty and I love the shade of blue and the shade of pink and the embroidery. Yes, I'm a big fan of that. On to cardigans. This was always a very sought out item. It's the Waste of Time cardigan. 
in the lovely lilac kind of pastel rainbow knit with the heart buttons and I don't wear this nearly enough. I don't know why. I think it's this is one of my newer items and I did just buy this full price I think. It's the Taurus cardigan with the check of this gives me very clueless vibes. And I actually held out on this. Didn't buy when it first got released. Was like, mm, meh. And then I just started <laughs> picturing all of the outfits I could wear it with. And I've been pretty obsessed with it. I really love it with the Esther uh, bunny top. And I love the buttons. This is one of my faves. And is also fairly new. Did this come out at the start of this year? I like it because it's different to their normal cardigans. Uh, it's actually really, really long, and it's got these giant pockets. It almost feels like a car like a um, dressing gown. Like, and I just obviously love the, that print. Is just oh, heart print. I'm obsessed with the one of my favourites. A lot of my favourite items are the cardigans. Like, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, this. Yes, this was another item from the Bikini Bukimi launch, and when it first when I first saw it, it reminded me of the old <laughs> leopard print cardigans that Topshop used to do in different colours, and I was like, mm. and then as I scrolled back through, I was like, no, I'm going to put it in my basket because I think I'll regret it if it sells out, and I'm so glad I did because I've worn this to death. And it's actually one of my cardigans that I get the most compliments on when I wear. You gotta love the pastel rainbow cardigan absolutely adore this absolutely adore the colors I, I, this is in my top 10 items for sure and another item that i wear a lot it's, it's so hard i actually consider myself like a clothes collector because that's that's what i am i do collect clothes and i do like more special items items that are limited edition stuff like that and i have and and like vintage items i have a lot of other stuff it might look like just all oh, my stuff is lazy, but it's not. Um, I have a lot of really special pieces that I'll keep forever. And I consider myself a fashion collector, but it's hard to get that balance right between I'm in love with this item, it's my favourite thing, wearing, I want to wear it all the time, but if I wear it all the time, it will wear quicker and it will lose its quality quicker. So that's one of those items because throughout spring, I live in it, but like, then I get scared that I'm going to ruin it. And of course, the OG rainbow cardigan. Um, my younger brother actually bought me this for my birthday when it came out. This is boring on the back. And this is another item I wear to death. Like, I wear this so much. I find these ones, um, the two rainbow ones, really easy to just chuck on. Because they're a little bit thinner than, like, these. It's a totally different knit. Um, but yeah, I, I find that very easy to wear with, like, basically anything. This is in my top five clothing items of any brand ever. Um, it's the Mickey Mouse cardigan from the um, Disney collection. I'm obsessed with this. I'll keep it forever. I want to pass it down to my kids because my mum and dad had a couple of like older Disney stuff that I'm obsessed with um, and I just would love to pass this down. It's one of my absolute faves. sale when they were doing loads of one-off items and I'm pretty sure it is a one-off item it's a very like thin cardigan um with this little double smiley sad face it's got pockets I just love the like tealy color and actually um someone put this down in front of me like they put it back they weren't gonna buy it and I instantly saw the color and was like oh what's that and I picked it up and I was like I don't think I've ever seen that before um, and it's in a size large, and I wear that to death. My few black items is the lovely knot cardigan. And again, I actually wear this more than you would think. I was considering selling it because I don't wear it that much now. I have to say, I work constantly because it's black, and I feel drawn to it as much as I like these items. This is one of my faves. Betty Boop jumper with the pink bows and a velvety down it. This jumper, I absolutely fell in love with when they released. I knew I had to have it. Very, very thin dreamy rainbow pastel jumper i love that so much 
this might just be in my top five items i'm absolutely obsessed with it i don't wear it very much because i want to keep it forever um it's one of the older pieces with the bear and it's all like fuzzy and fluffy at one point this was so sought after like right after i bought it it's only in one size but yeah right after i bought it, it sold out and then like everyone wanted it i remember i love because i don't think it's like anything else they've really done it's this jumper that again was from the bukimi launch but these big fluffy sleeves yes and then i absolutely love the back it says you're a mess and i fuck and i i do love it this is actually one of my favorite items um and is a one-off it's a lilac high neck jumper that's a lot like the one that has the rabbit on it or the pastely one but it says nice melons <laughs> it's got melons on it and um every time i wear this my mum dies from laughter she thinks it's absolutely hilarious this baby the flower power jumper absolutely adore these jumpers in winter i live in them so that's why i've got three of them <laughs> i've got the creamy pastel one that every time i wear it someone says i look like ice cream and i take that as a big compliment and then i've got the rainbow one that matches the rainbow cardigan with the little roll neck they're just the comfiest coziest item to wear in winter just shove on a pair of leggings and that and you're good to go i love it i fell in love with because i got it at the sample sale in a, and it was in a size small but i bought it because i loved it so much because it's chenille it's so soft but i got it home it's too small i sold it and then this came on the sale on the website so i got it it's like neon but it's just the softest thing it's so soft One of jackets now we've got the betty boop jacket which has the tag in it and i've worn this like four times so i don't know why that's still in there i do that a lot actually i leave i just always forget that tags are enclosed i love that the pockets are hearts i absolutely adore this jacket this is in my top five i've probably said like 50 items are in my top five this is in my top five it's the marie jacket i think it's so beautifully done this is so soft and silky i love her face the ribbons down the arm i just i, I love everything about it i absolutely adore that and marie is one of my favorite characters and the last but not least i do have one coat in here that um whenever i get a new uh, lazy earth coat it goes in this wardrobe until um i then move it into the coat wardrobe but i actually need to make room in the coat wardrobe so this is the last item this was from the bukimi launch as well and um yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this it's like it was made for me the pastel blue the pink fleecy inside i'm obsessed with this type of coat i live in them throughout winter and i will show you my coats next oh, one more item this is a lazy earth gem coat oh my god heart buttons this is the softest fur on anything i've ever owned i'm absolutely obsessed with this coat i love it so much i've worn it on my birthday like three years in a row so that's it for this wardrobe um i'll see you in the next section hey friends welcome to part 5000 of this video <laughs> we're gonna show you my coats i can't even get my words out my lazy earth coats and i'm gonna be fighting my cat off uh, out of this cupboard because she wants to go in there and get lost forever hey pretty lady you haven't been in my videos for ages oh she's laughing on me you're my good girl mm. baby go on the banister then careful 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 there we go okay stay there this one is this leopard print parka bad boy with the fluffy hood i actually got this from a sample sale and it was actually on my like must-haves for that particular sample sale just because I was going to Disneyland and I had a few outfits planned where I didn't want to wear my pink coat with them because they were like Mickey themed and black and red and I was like oh the leopard print coat would be so good. I held out, I didn't pay full price and then I got to the sample sale and it was there. Tell me why this tiny cat is in my wardrobe. This bad boy is one of my absolute faves and is one of my very few eBay finds that I've bought like bought stuff off eBay and actually the few things that I have got off of eBay 
secondhand were presents from people so actually this is from my parents i think for a christmas present and it's the bugs bunny furry jacket and yes it's amazing i got this jacket at a sample sale and i constantly go between like should i sell it because i don't wear it enough and then no because i really love it and i think it's really cool so it's messed up and there's just like little patches all over it a little flower here um and i actually do really love it but it's just, I, I don't know if it's me. This is definitely in my like top 10 pieces for sure, for sure, for sure. It's the pink Waste of Time Parker. And I got this at a sample sale. And that was back when sample sales that, that were lazy of ones were like super cheap. Like you got stuff that was in brand new perfect condition for like, like coats for like 30 or 40 quid, seriously. This is one of my all-time favourite lazy of items and most worn items and it's actually um, funny because I always take my boyfriend with me to the lazy of sample sales so that he can drive me there and back but also so that he can hold stuff for me because I do always buy a lot um, so he holds stuff but this time he'd given me all the stuff and then he ran off and was like I've spotted something and he bought this back and was like do you like it and I was like oh my god that's such a good find like it's such a good winter coat it's waterproof, but it's like fleecy on the inside, so it's super warm. Huge hood, it's long, I love it. It's denim, it goes with everything. And I literally got this. I think it was like 170 quid or 140 quid full price, and I got it for 40 quid. So well done, boyfriend. One of his best finds. That's it for coats, let's go to the next section. These are a couple of items that were in the wash. I said I'd have to find stuff that's in the wash. Uh, first of all is this pink gem with the fluffy green sleeves sheer top and then this is one of my favorite items and i've worn it loads it was again from the bukimi launch and it's the tiger top um i love how long it is i love the fabric i love the print and i love wearing it with the leopard print cardigan yes i do have a few pairs of lazy oaf shoes the first pair are these these are the doc martens um with the flocked red love hearts they're like velvety if you don't know what flocked is and on the back it says don't care and um i got these at a sample sale as well although they were really expensive still like i know they weren't obviously as expensive as they are full price but for a sample sale item they were expensive and i ummed and about them for ages but i've actually worn them a couple of times and got so many compliments when i wore them these bad boys again doc martens and lazy oaf and they're some they're one like my favorite some of my favourite boots I've ever ever owned and I do wear them a lot in uh, the colder months. I absolutely adore them. They obviously being pink go with a lot of what I wear. I really want to get some suede protector for them though. I need to get on that. And my newest Lazy Oaf edition I think are these Doc Martens with the love hearts. Um, I absolutely adore these. They're the sandals. And the reason I love them is because you can change like the size of them really with the um, Velcro. You can make them wider and I've got wide feet, but my feet also swell because of my lupus. So, love them. I'm definitely taking them to Florida with me as well. Hey friends, we're on part four, five? I've lost count. I have literally been filming this video for over a month. I knew it would take me a long time just because, you know, I'm chronically ill and going through this amount of stuff and finding everything and bringing it out and filming is a lot. But we're here. This is the final stint. Um, this is going to be hats, bags, some accessories, a little bit of home stuff. Um, and yeah, can't believe we're finally here at the last section. So I'll show you guys some of my berets here and some of my berets are my favourite Lazy Oaf items honestly and get the most wear. First one is this black one and it says never on time which is very on brand for me. Um, all of my friends and my boyfriend will tell you that. Um, and yeah it's just like the softest thing you've ever felt genuinely and it's got a little ribbon at the back and the little pom pom and I just love them and I've actually worn that black one like way more than I ever even thought I would. This is a little red one with a little heart on and a black uh, pom-pom and ribbon. Adorable. They are just the softest thing, seriously. Then we have one of my favourites, actually. This leopard print one with the pink heart and the pink pom-pom. Um, this isn't as soft. This is more like furry, 
rather than like I don't know the other ones I'd call fluffy this I'd call furry it's not as soft but still super soft just not that like fabric that's so soft you barely can feel it through your fingers um there's the little bow and yeah I absolutely love that one it's one of my favorites um this one is a bit different because it doesn't have a pom-pom but it has a lovely big bow this is the same softness and the bow is velvet and again it has the classic black tie but the black ribbon is actually velvet too or like flocked um but i really really love this one i love this deep purple color then one of my favorites i said they're all my favorites this entire video is going to be like top five top five and it'll be like 50 things but i wear this loads it's baby baby pink um with heart like gemstones and the ribbon again no pom-pom on top but i wear that so much and probably probably the one that i get most compliments on when i wear and a lot of old old women really love it which i love i'm there for that it's very my vibe i have a couple of hats uh like, that are like caps and bucket hats so i've got this cap and these pink bits are actually like fuzzy um and yeah it's just a cap and i think i got that at a sample sale literally years ago and the other cap i have is the disney marie one adorable definitely taking that disney world with me um don't wear that as much as i want to i think i'm worried because it's such a light pink of like getting anything on it or anything i just love it a lot marie's one of my favorite disney characters i've got this adorable pink cloud bucket hat again will be coming to florida with me it's lilac on the inside and again i got that from a sample sale i swear to god back then i think that was like two quid at the sample sale and then i've got this baby that is the watermelon <laughs> bucket hat which again will definitely be coming to florida with me and i love it it's very summery last two hats are this velvety uber soft pink baker boy hat which i adore um with the little black heart and this hat is one of my faves it's the um what do they call these deer stalker hats um it's got purple ribbons and yes it's pastel it looks like it's like faded on camera but it's not it's quite bright and then it's got the waste of time pin on the front there then we have my only pair of lazy earth gloves and they are these fabulous leopard print mittens which i do wear a lot in the winter actually i really really love them they're like fleecy on the inside and obviously i love the heart with the little eyes and my only lazy earth scarf is this kitty scarf that's got the two little paws and the kitty face and then down the other end it's got the two little paws and a tail that's very bag puss only home item but one of my favourite home items is this weirdo pillow, pink, plushy, um, frilly goodness. It's on our bed at the moment, but I think it might go on my desk chair because I've just got a new pink desk chair that's this same sort of fabric. Bags. I got this backpack at a sample sale ages ago. Um, it's quite grotty now because I've actually used it a fair amount. Yeah, I love this one, purple fluffy, happy daisy dye. I wear this one a lot actually because I like the size, it's like boxy. You can fit more in these to be fair than it looks like for a long shoulder strap, which is how I wear it. Up there with one of my favourite uh, Lazy Earth bags, probably my top three i think of my lazy f bags one of the ones i wear the most it's this little pink friend with the heart buckle and again it does have a shoulder strap but a lot of the time i do find myself wearing it like this i feel like it's one of my fancier um lazy f bags you know this baby i actually got this at a sample sale when i got um a purple sally sack dress and the purple bow cardigan the purple I got something else that was purple and this and I wore a whole purple outfit to my little brother's birthday because it's his favourite colour and I just got it at the sample sale just before so I love this. I love that it's hot, I love the bow, just adorable. This is another one of my bags that's in my top three and gets the most use. Um, I just adore it, it's like the softest thing ever. I think maybe this might be gem rather than, you know, like they created gem the label. Um, yeah it is yeah it's gem and again this has a um longer strap but i've never used it i just love carrying it like this and it matches so lovely with my leopard print and pink gem coat and also my lazy oaf uh doc martin boots they're just like the perfect match so i absolutely adore this bag Um, little key ring that they 
door cat, which is adorable. Um, I'm just thinking it's really cute together. Had to have this bag because it's my Figaro. <laughs> I have a cat called Figaro who's a tabby and this little face that they did on a few of their things just reminds me of him so yeah um, this is one of the less soft ones but again it's a sample set one I love heart shaped bags just really have a thing I have a thing for hearts full stop but heart shaped things I love this gets a lot of wear I think maybe this is my like in my top three to be honest maybe um it's the black one with the big red love heart and it's the softest thing you've ever felt i just love that it's a purple circle and that it's a backpack rather than a side one a lot of the time i have to wear backpacks just because I get a lot of body pain with my illness, so like having it, uh, the weight evenly distributed on my back is better than a side bag. But um, I actually got that at the sample sale and really wanted the matching coat and I grabbed the matching coat and it was too small. And I was guided by I gave it to someone else. I hope they've loved it. <laughs> Little guy was from my most recent Ladies of the sample sale that I went to, I think. Um, it's really sparkly and again, just got a happy little daisy on there and I love it. I just think it's lovely and I get a lot of compliments on that one I wear and because it's the paler blue goes with a lot of my clothes and last but definitely not least is this baby the softest thing ever I think my boyfriend found this at the sample sale and I, I, I was like yes good job babe um it's a backpack um, it's like really soft and fluffy and I love how bright pink this is and I love to wear this with the bad for you Sally sack dress I think they look fabulous together I knew I'd forget something so I do have a couple of pairs of lazy earth socks I have these like bunny ones and then these little dalmatian ones which are adorable that are black with like a little frilly bit around the ankle so yes <laughs> I knew I'd forget something I actually think we're done. I think that's it. And I cannot believe it. You don't know how long I've been filming this video and planning it and doing stuff for it. So I think we're done. I feel like there's definitely stuff I've missed. I've tried really hard to like make sure anything that was in the wash got included afterwards. But I just, I can't help feeling like I've missed something. Which is going to be really annoying when I realise what it is. But yeah, I think this is my entire Lazy Oaf collection, I think. At this moment in August 2019, <laughs> this is my entire Lazy Oaf collection. This has been so highly requested. Seriously, it's like up there with like top three videos I've been asked to do since I started YouTube. So um, here you go. <laughs> I hope it was up to your expectations and um didn't disappoint um god knows how long this video is going to be i'm really sorry if it's super long i've tried to make it as quick as possible Ugh. anyway i'm gonna go please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and even if you didn't like it but you just see how long this took me because how much i have <laughs> Please just give this video a like to make it worthwhile for me um, and do share it with any of your lazy -o friends. Um, maybe there's something in here that you didn't know they made and then you're going to now want it. And I love to encourage shopping, <laughs> obviously. So anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you're having a lovely day. Do subscribe to my channel. I wear lazy -o in like all of my videos, but also I do a lot of lazy -o hauls and lookbooks. So yeah, and also follow my Instagram if you're into that because... Again, most of my outfits are lazy oaf, so all the photos are lazy oaf things. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!